I want to give all honors and glory to the most high power, Yahweh, Ha, Yahaha, Aruha, Yamaha, Tu, Ah, Yahweh, Ha, Yahaha. Um, solid, everybody, solid, solid to the homie. And today we're going to be doing um, the covenant. And the curse, the curses and the covenant. Because I know a lot of you want to learn the cover, but first he's got to drink the milk first. Okay? He's got to understand uh, what you are dealing with. Okay? So first and foremost, you got to know the covenant and the curses. I was going to do covenant and blessings, but now we'll go straight to the truth, the cold truth. Nothing but the truth. So we're going to go, covenant is a contract. Now we're going to find out who made a contract with um, the Most High Power, Hawa. And we're going to um, show you that the contract is uh, made with the children of Ikaroa until this very day. And this is going to be a bit of a long yarn. So get you a cup of tea or something, a bit of a drink. We're going to get right into it. Okay, uh, we're going to start off with Leviticus, we'll start off with Leviticus 26, verse 46. <clears throat> this is the book of Le uh, Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 46. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which, are the, uh, which the Lord made between him and the children of Ikaroa in Mount Sinai by the hand of Maui. That's right. So this, these words, this, this contract and this law containing through the Bible was made with the Most High and the children of Israel through the mediator Maui. Okay. He was the chosen one back then. Everyone, every generation is a chosen one. And that one is the connection between the children of Israel and the Most High. And the main connection is the covenant. Can you read that one more time, brother? These are the statutes and judgments and rules which the Lord made between him and the children of Ikaroa and Mount Sinai by the hand of Maui. That's right. Now we're going to go to Deuteronomy 4. 44. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 44. And this is the law which Maui set before the children of Ikaro. The children of Ikaro. And this is the what? And this is the law which Maui set. Oh. Which Maui set before the children of Ikaro. Now this is what the fire Maui gave unto Ikaro is the goal, is the great covenant, the Ka Wanatong of the Kawa. The fire. So we're gonna go to Deuteronomy 33, verse 4. See so these not these numbers are um they all connect too. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, verse 4. Hmm. Maui commanded us a law. Maui commanded us a law. The whole house of Ikoroa. From the, that side of the Milky Way to the other side of the Milky Way, everyone underneath it is the children of Ikoroa. And all those scattered abroad from the great slave days, slave trade days. So can you read that again, Bob? Maui commanded us a, uh, us a law. That's right. Maui commanded us a law. Is that it? That's it, eh? No. Keep reading. Even the, inherit, uh, even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. That's right. It's all of us. So, Jacob is Israel. Um, Israel is Ikaroa. And this is the, for the congregation of Al Fari. Right. Us. Right. Yeah, and we're just teaching you the covenant, and the covenant was only made with us in our tupuna. 
So, with this covenant, there's a blessing and there's a curse. It's called a contract. It's called a deal. You do this, I'll give you this. You don't do this, I'll give you this. Okay? So, we're going to go to um, Jeremiah. Chapter 15, verse 18. Much love to the homie, you know. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 18. Why is my pain perpetual and my wound incurable, which refuse to be healed? Wilt thou be together or altogether unto me as a liar and as waters that fail? Is it 18? Yep, Jeremiah 15 and 18. Oh, 25 and 18. Jeremiah 25. This is book of Jeremiah, chapter 25, verse 18. Yeah. To wilt Jerusalem and the cities of Judah and the kings thereof all of us and the princes princes thereof even our children to make them a desolation they're a desolation right now and an astonishment and an astonishment and hissing and hissing and a curse and a what and a curse and a what and a curse so that's what we are today we are cursed Mm, I'm going to get there one more time, read. To loot Jerusalem and the cities of Judah and the kings thereof and the princes thereof to make them a desolation. All of us to eat up top to bottom and astonishment and hissing and a curse as it is this day. Mm. Can you get um, Jeremiah 11? Chapter 25. Oh, chapter 11, verse 3. So we're under a curse. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 11, verse 3. And say thou unto them, I'm saying unto you, Thus saith the Lord, God of Israel, mm -hmm. Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. So, that's how we cursed. Cursed be the what man that what, my bro? Cursed be the man that, that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. So the covenant that um, the Most High made with the, with the children of Ikaro, he says if we don't keep their covenant, cursed. So we're going to go to Deuteronomy. We're going to have a look at the curses. Because this thing you got to know is the curse. And we need to uplift the curse. By knowing the curse. And how we, and then we know the curse. And then we learn the kawa on how to uplift the curse. Yeah. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. My brother. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. To those who made a covenant with the Most High, with Maui, read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the, of the Lord thy God, if you don't want to listen to the covenant, to observe, to do all his commandments. Observe means to listen, to observe, you know, to say and practice, read. And his statutes, his statutes, read. Which I command thee this day. Back then. That when the covenant was made, read that all these curses all shall these what? All these curses, all these curses shall come, um, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Keep reading. Curse shall. So that's that's a that's part of the covenant. That if you don't keep the covenant, you're gonna be cursed, and it's not an individual curse. Eh? It's a it's a nation national curse. So this curse affects the nation and affects our people. So you have to hearken 
diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Meaning, if you want to um, help your people, the way is through breaking the curse. And we're going to get you some curses, my bro. The bro is going to read curses. I'm going to kick back. You just kick back. Fuck it on more. Yeah, curses. Yeah, muck it too. Read my bro. Get the first verse 16. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Curse shall, shall thou be in the city. Curse shall thou be in the city. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. And in the field, in the workplace. So you should be at the bottom of the system. Go down to the next. Curse shall be in, be thy basket and thy stool. Now the next please. Curse shall your basket be in your store. You know, it's hard to run businesses because you don't own it. It's not yours, really. You still have to pay the government. Go down to the next. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. And that's what happened to us. We're getting smitten before our enemies. All our enemies are laughing at us, watching us uh, suffer. You know? Thou shalt go out one way against him. We're going to try all these little tactics to try and overthrow the enemies, but what's going to happen? And flee seven ways before them. We're going to just go back. So we scatter. It's like when we see the police, we start run. Read. And shall be, and shall be removed and into all the kingdoms of the earth. You see, we're removed from everywhere. You don't see us in the United Nations, no way. Go down to the next. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed up always. So that's a curse that a nation that we knew not would come over and oppress us. Eat up all our goodly things from our land. That's a curse, read. So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes. Be mad. Watching which, our nation getting eaten up, read. Which thou shalt see. We'll see it with our own eyes. Watching Tika get eaten one bite at a time. Read. The Lord shall smite thee in the knees. And the knees, a lot of you get gout, you know, from breaking the car. And then the legs. And the legs, you know, getting the gout, gout, getting funny legs. Well, the soul box that cannot be healed. No healing. That's a curse. The gout is a curse from what you part intake. Read. From the sole of thy foot mm. until the top of thy head. Yeah. It affects your, your whole body. Read. The Lord shall bring thee. And thy king, mm -hmm. which thou shalt set over thee, mm -hmm. unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. So we got prime ministers and stuff ruling over us. That our people now that not know. Who are these people we got over us? Read. And there shalt thou serve other gods. Now everyone's serving other gods. We ain't serving the most high what? We already know we're from Hawaii. Why we have to change? Why have we have to bring over the islanders' eel? The calf. In the Bible, that's the calf. So, no more worshipping other gods. Come back home to Hawaii. Do it. Keep reading my book. Wood and stone. Wood and stone. Dumb. They do nothing. Wood don't do nothing. Uh, nothing. Stone can't move, can't move. I make it move. Levels, read. And thou shalt become an astonishment. We're in an astonishment now. We're just entertainment for these people now. Everyone's like, whoa, what are these people? Read. A proverb. We're a proverb. Modi. Modi. Modi's a, you know, dumb. We're imbeciles. Those are proverbs. They they call us things. Island of the niggers. Read. And a byword. And a byword. Modi. Nigger. That's what they call us. Savage. Native. Those are bywords. 
from your God-given nationality. Now we're called Ikaro. You're either the children of Maui, you know, children of somebody, but you ain't. Our uh, byword, the Jews have called you Maori, Maori, people of the scriptures. Me? Among all nations, all the nations, the Lord shall lead thee. You know how people got scattered abroad are called niggas too, bywords too. You know, you gotta have their back too, so them come back home. You know, keep reading, my brother. Thou shalt bigot sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. Nah, shit's changed. What are they gonna go? For they shall go into captivity. Yeah? Captivity. That's where a lot of us go, captivity. And then even schools are captivity. Schools captivity. Read. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. high. Even the strangers, the strangers around us are higher than us. Right from the closest stranger of the crew, the closest stranger. The Balangi follow. He's even higher than us. But every stranger is higher than us. And that's a curse, read. And thou shalt come down very low. Very low. You know where I'm from? From Ota, the gutter, the sewage. Read. He shall lend to thee, and thou shall not lend to him. See, you even talking about loans. They give us a lot of loans, those loan sharks. And we can't do that to them, because they got all the privileges. But it's really a curse, you. He shall be the head. You're going to be the head. Look at the coin right now. Look at the coin right now. You're the most high end line. He's going to be the what? He shall be the head. And where are we going to be? And they. Uh, and thou shall be the tail. We're gonna be the tail. Salakia, read. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. And I'll pursue you. And overtake you. And then overtake you. Till thou be destroyed. And destroy you. And that's talking to our nation, read. Because thou hearkens. Not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because you don't want to listen to the voice of the Lord thy God. And I can't blame you. Because um, the word of the Most High is being told by our liars. So I can't blame you for not listening to the voice of the Lord thy God when it's coming from a bunch of goddamn liars. So I'm here to tell you the truth. And if you haven't heard that Bible before, that's a good thing. To be honest, and not defiled by a woman. Yeah, so, because if you've learned the Bible before, this is going to confound you. Mm. But, like I've always said, this is my book, and it's my God, and you don't know him. And I'm here to tell you the truth about him. So, we're going to continue on with the curses that's upon the children of Ikaro. Read. To keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded. The he commanded it. The Creator commanded it. Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. They're going to be upon you for a sign. And for a wonder. And to make you think. And upon thy seed forever. How long? Forever. Upon what? Upon thy seed forever. So it's upon our seed forever, these curses. So the contract, the Kawanatanga that our Tupuna made. Back in the day, it's still in effect until this very day. Because the Messiah said what? Read it from the sign. That shall be a sign. So, um, they shall be a sign, um, shall be upon thee for a sign. So they, meaning the curses, shall be upon thee for a sign. To make you know it's an identifier marker. So you can identify yourself. To know you're an Israelite. Know you're children of Ikaroa. Because if these curses will only come upon the children of Ikaroa. Read. And for a wonder. And for a wonder. Make you think. 
and upon thy seed forever. So they're upon our children and our children's children. It's upon our seed forever. Read. Because thou service not the Lord thy God, because we're not serving the Most High anymore. Read. With joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Uh, just like me, I love my Most High. I love the Most High power. Yahweh. Read. For the abundance of all things. I want that more than anything in life. Read. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. If you don't want to serve my father, you can serve thine enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent? Which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent him against us. Yeah. And hunger and in thirst. And hunger and in thirst. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. Read. And in want of all things. Everything we need. Even the Bible. Even the Most High Power. Even knowledge of the Most High. we got to go to our enemies to learn that. We don't want to be going to our enemies to learning about our own God. We don't want to go to the enemies for anything actually. So we need these curses to be lifted up off, off, uh, off us. So we can start to thrive as a nation again. Because we're a body of people. We're not individual lights. We're actually in this, to in this waka together forever. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. His enemies are going to control you. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. And he has destroyed thee. Read. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee. From uh, from far. What is he going to bring? The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So the Lord sent a nation from far against us. Read. From the end of the earth. From the end of the earth. As swift as, swift as the eagle's fleet. Flyeth. Uh, flyeth. So it's as swift as the eagle flyeth. So they like patrolling from far away. And then they'll swoop in and take your shit. And that's already happened there, cursed. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. We didn't understand English. Now we understand it. But when they first came, we didn't understand. Read. A nation of fierce continents. Our countenance. A nation of fierce countenance. Read. Which shall not regard the person of the old. No shoe favor to the young. They don't give a fuck about you. Read. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates. He besieged every one of our gates, read. Until thy high and fenced walls come down. Our, our high fenced walls came down, read. Wherein thou trusted. We trusted in our past sites, read. Throughout all thy land. Throughout all our lands we have past sites. They all got brought down, read. And he shall besiege thee and all thy gates throughout all thy land. He done it. Tick. Read. Which the Lord thy God hath given thee. The Most High gave us tea cup. Read. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thy own body, the flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters. He started becoming cannibals. Read. Which the Lord thy God hath given thee. That's right. Cannibalism. Read. In the siege, in the siege, and in the straightness, wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee, mm -hmm. so that the man that is tender among you, and very delicate, even the good fellows, you know, the tender and delicate men, read, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. You'll be looking evil towards his brother like that. You don't want to be looking like that. It's a curse, read. And towards the wife of his bosom. Even towards the wife of his bosom, read. And towards the remnant of his children, so which he shall leave. So that comes down to domestics. Domestic violence. Okay, that's a curse from the Most High. You know, being angry towards one another is a curse from the Most High. Domestic violence is a curse from the Most High. Uh, Single parent ho household, uh, households is a curse from the Most High. Okay, understand the curses. Read. So that he will not give to any of them 
The flesh of his children whom he shall eat in greedy. Because he hath nothing left him in the siege, and in the straightness wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee and all thy gates. Uh, our enemies has pushed our men up against the wall so that our men now have become so wicked and evil, you know. They got it's a hard place to start from when your back's pushed up against the wall constantly you know getting put down and trotted down being a byword and an astonishment and a proverb you know and that's what our men suffer from but it's from the curse the most high put it on the most high putting it on us putting it on our people you know giving us our tune up that's how the most high rolls he's a g stay loyal to your covenant motherfucker <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Keep reading. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground of her delicateness. This is how beautiful our woman used to be. Read. In tenderness, mm. her, eye, her eye shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom. Now we're not a house. Read. And towards her son. They don't want to be mamas anymore. That's meant to be the first thing women want to be. Read. And towards her daughter. Mm, that's her favorite position. And look how mean our women are towards our people, to, to our own children these days. Men and women. We can't put the curse just on our man or just on our woman. No, this is curses for all our people. Read. And toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet. Mm, keep reading and to uh, and toward her cho uh, children which shall be uh which she shall be mm, you know that's how mean our uh, woman became read for she shall eat them for want of all things secretly in the siege in straightness mm, so our woman using and abuse our children for money even to the winds today read with thine enemy shall distress thee and thy gates. And even our women are being pushed up, like their back against the wall in the society. I've seen it, you know. And they're out there struggling, so they got to hustle off their kids to the winds. they got to get out there and hustle themselves off to get, get by in the motherfucking world. But that's the most high, read. If thou will not observe to do all the words of this law, so you don't want to fucking listen, read, that are written in this book, in this book, no other book, read, that, they, uh, that thou mayest fear the glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy God, Yahweh. So fear the name of the Most High, Yahweh, who put all the curses on your earth. Is there any more on that? So that those are curses, few curses we went through. So fear my father, fear his name, Hawah, Yahweh. Okay, because that's all the shit that's happened to us. All this, all this crap, and it's a curse. We need this. We need to get this curse lifted up off us as a people as a nation and we'll do it together so um if you want to make change be the change yo so i'm the change doing it myself i'm still from the hood but i keep all the cover and i'm gonna commit myself to the covenant because i know it's real and it's true and you all know these curses are real and true prove prove the most high a lie you can't you can't I've been on this for six years trying to prove him a lie. I've been wrestling with the Most High for a long time. And I know, I bear witness that these curses are true, that his judgments, his statutes, and his um, love is true. His hate is true. Everything is true. He told you from the beginning. True. So we're going to go to Christ and go to John 7 verse 19.
This is the book of John, chapter 7, verse 19. Did not Maui give you the law? Did what? Did not Maui give you the law? See, this is Christ speaking. Did not Maui give you the law? Any more than that? And yet none of you kept the law? <laughs> yeah, fuck. See that, he's, he's just like me. He's mocking you. Did not our temple give you a cover? Did not Rahari leave you a cover? Did not our temple not leave you his cover? And he's not an event keeper. Stop following our multitudes to do evil. Stop wanting to be like everybody else. Be proud of your heritage. Be proud of your culture. Love one another. Love thyself. Love him as you love thyself. And we are all from the same heritage. Okay? Stop being fools, man. So, so let's see Christ again. Oh, wow, Ike. Let's go see what he says again. Did not Maui give you the law? Did not Maui give you the law? And yet none of you kept the law? <laughs> yeah, yet none of you kept the law. Really? Why go ye about to kill me? Say no more. So, we're going to go to Psalms 147 verse 19. So, we're going to edify this with full stops, you know. Dot. You know, you're going to end, end these things with a dot. So, you know, that the covenant was only given to the children of Ikaro. The covenant was given from, uh, handed from Maui to the children of Ikaro from the Most High Hawa. And... Their covenant is an everlasting covenant that lasts forever. And there's a curse on their covenant, their contract that has a curse. And we are suffering the curse right now. So we're gonna go even further and show you that the most who the most high is talking to. So can the brother read that? 147 verse 19. This is a book of Psalms, one four, uh, chapter 147, verse 19. He sheweth his word unto Jacob. So he showeth his word unto Jacob. Read. His statutes and his judgment unto Ikaro. So he showed his statutes and his judgments. The judgments is getting cursed unto Ikaro. Read. He hath not dealt. So with any nation, now he's dealing with everybody. He hath not dealt so with any nation. So he's not dealt so with any nation. Can you go to um, Romans 9 and 4? This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 4. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? To whom pertains the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises? Mm. Yep. Whose are the fathers? And on on and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came, who is over all God blessed for uh, blessed forever. Amen. Mm. So anything that really pertains to the Israelites. So we're gonna to go to heaven. We'll have a check out on heaven in uh, Revelations 21 verse 12. I'm just gonna find something. Yeah. Oh what? No, 21 and 12. Mm. 
Revelations. Last book in the this is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 12. And had a great wolf, oh, had a, and had a wolf, great and high. So this is heaven's wolf, read. And had 12 gates. How many gates? And had 12 gates. So this war in heaven's, and you got 12 gates, read. And at the gates, twelve angels, twelve angels at these gates, reads like a widow, read. And names written thereon, what's written on these gates? Which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Ikaroa. So, the Most High made a covenant with those names, the forefathers of the Tupuna of the twelve tribes of Ikaroa. So we need to get, so it's a covenant between them and the Most High, but because we're the seed, we have to um, fulfill our promise to their names. Okay, understand? It's not about us, it's about them, their covenant. We want to fulfill this covenant, fulfill this um, prophecies and end the curse, and then our heaven will be established. Okay, understand? So as you read, that this is not dealing with anyone else but the children of Ikaroa. And we're going to go to Amos 3 verse 2. Amos, Old Testament. 3 2. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So the Messiah saying, You only have I known of the families of all the earth. Read. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. That's right. So the Most High said He only knows us. Therefore He's going to punish us. He's not going to punish anyone else. You don't punish anyone else's children. You only punish your own children. Okay, understand? Yeah, so read that one more time for the views, my brother. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. That's right. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. That's right. See, he only punishes us. So we're going to go to Ecclesiasticus 24, 23. 24, 23. This is the book of e Ecclesiasticus, chapter 24, verse 23. All these things are the book of the covenant. So all these things, everything in the book, everything in the Bible, is the what? The book of the covenant of the most high God. Even the law which Maui commanded for an heritage unto the congregations of Jacob. Understand that this whole Bible is only for you, children of Ikoro. Mm. The whole thing that the Most High made. Can we read that one more time, brother? All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God, even the law which Maui commanded for an, for an heritage. It's a heritage unto the congregations of Jacob. So it's a heritage, it's not a religion. It's not a religion, it's a heritage. Tenete tangata. Huru, huru. Understand that. Secrets of the dark scenes. So we're gonna finish off with Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So this is the conclusion of the whole matter. 
Fear God. Fear God. And keep his commandments. And what? And keep his commandments. And what? And keep his commandments. That's right. For this is the whole duty of man. So this is the duty of the children of Ikoro. Okay? This is our duty, is to keep the koa. We don't need everybody in the world to be keeping our covenant, our koa. we got to stop everyone from teaching uh, our uh, covenant and our book, our laws. Understand, so, um, hearken unto the word of the Most High. Um, we're going to finish it off with one more of the most you know this is the um pretty much ends the whole book so can we finish it off my brother we're gonna go out with a mighty ecclesiastes the same one you just read this is the book of ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear god and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man so um understand that um we actually are under a curse and we need to stop doing the curse or stop letting the curse beat us um it's all a deal that we have with the most high and this is yours and yours only so all we got to say to you fellas is Shalom and keep the commandments. <laughs>